Listen Headphones is a new company. They restore hearing to one person in a third world country for every headphone purchased. They are environmentally responsible as they use sustainable reclaimed wood in their headphones. Now that's all cool, but at the end of the day, are their Troubadour headphones really worth the $150 price tag? Now, the Troubadours are designed superbly. The construction is beautiful, and not only do they just look great, but they're very sturdy and well-built. I've been using them for a little bit over a month now, and, and build-wise, they're perfect. I mean, I was able to bend and warp them with zero issues. Now, something that's interesting is that they come in four different wood styles, which is something that's a little bit interesting because each wood type modifies the sound spectrum ever so slightly. It's not drastic, but that is something to look into if you decide to purchase these, which wood properly matches your equalization and your soundstage preferences. Now, the detachable cable is, is nice. It's a tangle-free cable with a built-in mic that sounds fine, no better than that. There is, however, no volume control, so you're restricted to the play pause button. Now, if the headband is properly set up for your noggin, sound isolation can be awesome. No sound in, no sound coming out. Comfort, sadly, is average. Now, they're incredibly light, which is good, and they do have a good headband. However, it doesn't support very much of the weight, so as a result, the cups squeeze pretty tightly against your ears. It wasn't that big a deal because I could go about one and a half to two hours before they got uncomfortable. Now the ear pads, however, do get hot after about 30 to 45 minutes. So every once in a while, you're gonna have to take them off to take it like a 30 second breather cool down session. Most important in a pair of headphones is the sound quality. And on the Troubadours, it can be great. Now let me expound. When I first put them on, they sounded awful. So bad that I thought my pair was defective. Now some headphones can benefit from burn-in, so I left them running for about three days. And the change was substantial, but they still didn't sound great. They're a weird pair of headphones because most consumer designer headphones have no mids, bright highs, and a slow, muddy garbage bass. But not these. There is actually a really heavy mid response, but not in a good way. The bass is very overwhelming, but it's tight, so I can't complain too much. The mids, however, were so overpowering that they totally washed out the highs. They were masked completely. It made the bass, guitar, cello, and other low instruments totally dominate everything else. And the vocalist always peeked in and out of the instruments in a very unnatural and awkward way. Now I started to lose faith in the Troubadour, but before writing them off, I plugged them into my Epiphany EHP-02 headphone amplifier and the change was significant. Now the headphones opened up like crazy. They were still heavy with the low end, but the mids calmed out a little and the trebles finally found their place. Vocalists sounded excellent on the forefront of track reproduction. So in short, they sounded awesome, just as good, if not better than many headphones over $200. But see, that's the problem. These just aren't efficient enough to recommend on their own. And nobody wants to carry around a headphone amplifier. You look like a dork. So we're stuck. Since the Troubadours need power, these aren't really suitable for around town use. And alternatively, even though they sound great with an amp and better than most alternatives in this price range, you'll still find a better bang for your buck if you look at larger manufacturers like Bayer Dynamic and Audio-Technica. I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs. Thank you so much for watching the video review of the Liston Troubadour headphones. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.